Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Uh, no, Doc. We've tried every pawn shop and second-hand store in this burg. I'm getting kind of discouraged myself. Of course, I knew that Vesta Grand Edge was something special, but I did think we'd find some old relic someplace. Well, maybe we'd better buy some cloth and let Clara make you one. Never. I'll go without a vest till I get the right kind. And now Clara's too busy today to be making me vest. Yeah, I suppose so. Say, shall we walk down this way? We might just happen to find something. Okay. But don't mind telling you, I'm so desperate that if I saw a man with the right kind of a vest on, I think I'd take it from him if he refused to sell it to me. <laughs> Imagine taking a ride off his back. Guess you and I'd end up in jail. Then we wouldn't need a vest at all. <laughs> Say, what's all the excitement? Don't know. Sounds like a runaway. Golly, you don't think some of the circus horses are loose, do you? Yeah, not a chance. Yeah! Get out of the way! Out the way! Hey, lady, look up! Keep out of the street! Jerry, where are you going? Jerry! Look out to be killed! Out of the way! Trent, stop the wall! Hey, Sam, go Look, he's caught the bed. Jerry! All right, I'm coming! Hang on! Hang on! Oh, I'm dying him! Look at that kid hang on! Oh, he's plucky, all right! There, the other fellow's helping Here, you slow down now! Well, I, I got him too, Jerry. I, I got him too. Take it easy, girl. Yeah, that's the ticket. Oh. Take it easy. That's the girl. Come see now. Be still. Yeah, that bitch sure yeah. knows his business. Yeah, funny. Most kids yeah. nowadays hardly knows what a horse looks like, let alone how to manage him. There you are. Take it easy now. Nothing to get so excited about. Uh, he talks to that horse like they were buddies. Hey, kid, is it your horse? No, but she's all right now, I guess. Who does she belong to? I don't know. I'm a stranger myself in these parts. You don't see nags like that on the street much anymore. Hey, hey, thanks. Gee, is she all right? Nellie, Nellie, what's the matter? Did you get scared, old girl? Is this your horse, kid? Yeah, my boss is. What happened? I don't know. I was doing an errand, and I heard some car honking. I guess it swerved too close or something. As a rule, Nellie's pretty steady. She must have gotten pretty scared to go careening off like that. Well, I'll say she must. Took a block right along with her. Wonder that weight didn't break up the pavement. Lucky she had it on her. We might not have caught her so easy. Gee, I'm mighty grateful to you. I'd have gotten into a lot of trouble if anything had happened to her or to the wagon. Gee, I don't know how to thank you. Well, that's nothing. Glad we happened to be around. Most kids want to know what to do. Say, how'd you happen to stop her? Oh, I just jumped for a bit and hung on tight. I knew she couldn't go on forever with me dragging her head down like that. That's swell. I don't think I'd have ever been able to stop her so good. Well, you see, son, Jerry here is with the circus. He's used to handling horses. It's pretty much his business, you might say. With the circus? You mean you work with the circus that's just come to town? Yeah. Golly. Gee, you too? Yep, me too. Say, I never met circus folks before. Heck, that's real interesting. Whoa, come over here, Nelly. Hold your horses. I never seen her jittery like this before. She looks kind of thin. Yeah, she ain't so much compared to the kind of horses you're used to, I guess. But I like her. 
She's the best friend I got. I just mean she needs fattening up a bit. She's marked nice. Got good points. Yeah, and she's built well, too. You think so? Sure I do. Looks like she comes from pretty good stock, all right. Well, she's not been treated so well, but I do everything I can for her. Leastway since we've been buddies. You, uh, you lived around here long, kid? Uh-huh. Yeah? Uh, know the folks around this town much? Well, kinda. Of course, I'm just, well, sort of a hired boy, but... Uh-huh. Uh, what's your name? Tom. Tom. That's a good American name. My name's Slats, and uh, this here's Jerry. Slats and Jerry. Is Slats your real name? It is now. Why? Don't you like it? Oh, sure. I... Well, I just guess I never heard it before. <laughs> Don't let him kid you, Tom. I asked him the same question, and he acted real peeved with me, too. He's proud of that name, and he's got good reason to be, too. Well, I sure have. When I was younger than you boys, I was the skinniest kid in the business. Dad and I did an act all over the country. Guess you're both too young to have heard the slats and singles. Say, we were terrific. Folks used to think his dad starved him because he was so thin. Yeah, and when we joined the circus, first the manager wasn't sure whether to put me in the ring or with the freaks. Honest? Sure thing. Why, I remember once some humane society or something got after dad and he had a terrible time getting us out of town. Had to get doctors and everything to prove I just grew that way. <laughs> Gee, that's awful funny. Yeah? <laughs> well, we didn't think so then. Now look at me standing here talking. And what I wanted to ask you was, if you knew any folks around here might have some old clothes. Well, I don't know. He doesn't mean worn-out clothes. He means old-fashioned clothes that perhaps belonged in the family years ago. Well, I guess some folks keep them around in attics. My boss got a trunk out in the barn filled with a lot of crazy old things. He's so stingy, he won't throw them away. And those self-respect and second-hand men would buy them. Yeah? Any colored vests like uh, folks wore years ago? I, I don't know. I never go near his things. He's kind of touchy about... Well, I, I never do, that's all. I'd pay well for the right kind of a vest. You don't suppose he'd uh, sell it to me if he had anything I could use? Sure. He'd sell anything if he could get real money for it. He'd sell me, I guess, if he could sell people. Sell you? Do you belong to him? Well, kind of. He tried to sell Nellie a couple times, but she's so old, no one will pay much for her. And she still works. He grumbles about the feet she uses, but... He doesn't look like she gets much of that. Well, I know. It's something fierce. I do all I can to try and give her... Say, listen, it's getting late. Uh, I got to get busy before the matinee. Uh, Jerry, do me a favor. Sure thing. Go along with Tom and see if you can find any kind of a vest out of the, up around these places, and I'll pay for it. Meantime, I'll go down these back streets and see if I can find something someplace myself. Sure, I'll be glad to. Guess I know about what you want. That is, if Tom will take me. You bet I will. Gee, I guess we'd just about get home before the old man leaves for work. You mean your boss hasn't gone to work yet? This late in the morning? Well, he works nights. You see, he's got funny hours. Good. Then you kids get going. But whatever you do, Jerry, get back to the lot before the matinee. And if Tom can't help you out, he may know some neighbors with addicts or something. I'd sure be glad to try and help. Shall we get going, Jerry? The sooner the quicker. Okay. Oh, hold still there, Nellie. Come on, Jerry, climb up. Okay. All right, Jerry? Sure. See, this is swell. Well, Slats, we'll try and find some kind of a vest for Well, you'd better. I don't want to have to go on without the right kind of props. I'll have to change my act. Well, so long, kids. Be seeing you. Come on back with Jerry, Tom, to catch the show. I'll get you in. Gee, honest. Thanks, Slats. Get up, Millie. Come on there, old girl. Get up. Say, did he really mean that about seeing the circus? Sure, of course he did. Honest? You know, I never seen a real circus. You haven't? Nope. I always wanted to, though. But somehow I never had no money, and I was always working. Couldn't get away no how. Oh, that's awful. Well, you'll see the circus today. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'm afraid he'll never let me go. Who? Well, the man I'm hired out to. He sounds kind of mean. He's the meanest man I know. Well, what do you work for him for? Oh, I can't get away. What do you mean? You're away from him now, aren't you? Well, yes. Of course, I could run away, but if I did that, I, I'd probably never see Dad again. Gee, that's awful. Yeah. Get up, Nellie. Come on, get going. We'll never get home. Oh, you live far from here? Well, it's on the edge of town, not far from the tracks. It's kind of a little farm. You see, we raise our own vegetables. Looks like it's in the direction of the circus lot. Say, Jerry, how'd you ever happen to be with a circus? Your folks work there? 
Oh. They used to, but... Well, both Dad and Mother are dead, and Mr. Randall, he's the owner, you know. He took me in. I've only been with them part of this season. It must be awful exciting. You bet it is. Here, Nellie, take it easy there, boy. Take it easy. Hey, it, do we go off on this dirt road? Yep. This is where we turn in. Say, that's funny. The car's gone. You mean your boss isn't here? Yeah. See, that's awful queer. He don't usually get down to the station so early. Station? Well, sure. You see, he's a baggage man at the Hansburg Railway Station. Baggage man? The man you work for? Sure. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, why? Say, hmm. I don't think we dare open that trunk while he's gone. He'd about skin me alive, I guess, if, if he thought I was snooping around. But we just gotta see if he's got a vest. We wouldn't hurt anything. Whoa there, Nellie. Whoa, go. Whoa. Come on. May as well get down. He'll be back soon. Gee, Tom, I can't wait. I, I gotta know if he's got anything we can use, because if he hasn't, I'll have to ask around the neighbors and all. Well, I suppose he can't give me any more than a licking. I've had them before. And it'd be worth it to see the circus. Oh, no, I don't want you to get into trouble. I'll tell you what. We'll just take a quick look through. Guess we'd hear his car all right if he came back. Tisn't like we, we take anything. Well, all right, if you think it's safe. Of course, if he has anything we can use, we'll pay him for it. Okay, then. Come on in here. There. Y you see that old trunk over in the corner of the barn? Yeah. Well, that's it. Come on, let's open it quick if we're gonna. Okay, if you say so. Gee, it's pretty rusty and dirty. Yeah, no one ever uses it. He just keeps a lot of things in that he don't want. Here, I'll open it. Say, Tom. Yep? This man you work for, you say he's in charge of baggage at the railroad station? Uh, sure. Why? His name isn't Platt, is it? Well, sure. How'd you know? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you mentioned his name. I, I just thought it was Platt, but I wanted to be sure. Did I? Sure, I must have. <laughs> well, you wouldn't know it, would you? Say, here's lots of stuff. Gee, this is pretty good red sweater, too. Say, it's a dandy. Look, here's some old-fashioned stuff. Would this be any good for you, Jerry? Get out of there. Both oh, of you. Oh, what are you doing with my things? Gee, Mr. Platt, we didn't hear you. You thought I wasn't home because the car was gone, huh? So you're a thief now. Get out of there, both of you, and follow me into the house. I'm telephoning for the police, and I'm telephoning quick. But, Mr. Wheaton... None of your lip. Beat it, both of you. I'll teach you to come snooping around folks' trunks. I'll have the law on both you boys and put you into reformatory schools where you belong. Get going now and move fast. Thank you.